What's going on you guys? Welcome to the Single Guy Channel. My name's Lloyd. Today we're gonna to be talking about how to motivate yourself before you go out, or motivate yourself to go out. Because one of the biggest things I talk about on this channel is if you wanna get better at talking to, attracting, and having game with women, then you need to practice it. You need to go out and do it, okay? You need to be meeting women. And if you're just sitting at home doing nothing, then it's probably not gonna happen, man. Um, you're not gonna get better. So a lot of guys know this and they tell me, Lloyd, you know, I'm, I want to do this. I want to go out, but I just, I feel real nervous. I feel real scared. I feel, I have a lot of low energy. They say they feel really tired and dude, I can relate to this, man. I used to feel exhausted every time before I went out and I used to feel nervous, scared because I was afraid about getting rejected. All of these things. I, I can totally relate to what you guys are talking about. Um, but it doesn't happen to me anymore. And it's not just because I'm very competent when I go out to a social event, bar, club, whatever. Um, I'm very good at it. But it's also because I do different things before I go out. So in this video, what I'm going to be giving you is a step-by-step -step process that I use to motivate myself, to get myself into the right energy state to go out to a social event, bar, club, whatever it is, an area where you're going to be talking to a lot of random people. Okay. So, but before I get into this, what I'm, if you guys are wondering how to do this or you want to get coached by me in person, I have a schedule down below where I'll do like live trainings in a given city, boot camps, whatever. If I'm going to be in your city in the near future, hit me up and we'll try and work something out. Okay, cool. So the first thing that I usually do before I go out, and by the way, I'm assuming that you are going out uh, by yourself. Like you're not having a pregame with your buddies or whatever. You're just sitting at home and you're about to go out to the bars. I'm assuming you're leaving and you're gonna get there by yourself. How do you motivate yourself? How do you have high energy before you do this? Okay, first thing, make your bed, clean your room. You wanna start with this because if I'm going out on a date, if I'm going out to the bars and I'm trying to meet a girl, there's a good chance I'm gonna bring somebody home. And if there's a good chance of that, I have to begin with the end in mind. I wanna make my room presentable. You know, if you bring her home and you have a room that's got you know, wrappers everywhere, there's like leftover food, dirty socks, it smells funky, like, that girl is not gonna wanna sleep with you. Like nothing turns a girl on faster than like a bunch of dirty, messy shit in your room, okay? The only thing that turns her off more is probably a dirty bathroom. <laughs> Cause bathrooms can get pretty close. So, ma so make sure you clean your bathroom, make sure you clean your room. Make sure there's no gunk everywhere, no leftover you know, hair. All of that stuff should be clean. So that way when she comes in, it's very presentable, okay? Begin with the end in mind. Now, what this is gonna to do too is it's gonna get you to complete a task, you're gonna feel good about that, but also, it brings me to my second tip, you're gonna be moving around, okay? Move around before you go out. Too many guys are just lying on the couch, sitting down, looking at their phone, whatever it is, they're in a very low energy vegetative state. For you to go from that low energy vegetative state to go into like a nightclub or something where there's loud music, a bunch of random people bustling past you, it's a huge jump, dude. Like, you're, you're gonna be, going in and completely unprepared for what's going on. So you need to be moving around. I would even take it a step further if you can. I used to work out before, I still sometimes do that. I'll do a quick calisthenics workout. I'll do like a quick thing, get the blood pumping, feel more energized, feeling good. All of those things are super important, okay? Now, the other thing too that I would do, and I'd mention this, is if you are doing these things at the same time, this brings me into my next point, which is, Put on some comedy. Whatever makes you laugh the most, put that on. You want to be get you want to get your mind into a very silly, goofy, joking around state. When people go out, they're trying to have fun. They're not trying to be serious. And if you've just been doing a lot of work, or you've been concentrating very hard on something serious, important, then to take your mind from there and to go into the silly, goofy, joking around, we're here to party mode is gonna be pretty tough. So I like to put on some comedy. My favorite comedy is conversational comedy. Like if you guys have seen, um, what's his face? Chris D'Elia and Brian Callen, like those two together, man. They're, they're freaking hilarious, dude. Like they come up with like the funniest things going back and forth. And that's the exact vibe that you want. You know, you feel like you're in a conversation with them. And if you bring that energy into the bar or the club, you're gonna be a lot more successful. You're gonna feel a lot more uh, energized before you go out. And guys, also too, if you're always constantly going out by yourself, 
try and make some friends. Make some friends you can go out with. If you're looking for people to go out with, I have a Facebook group where we're all trying to help people out, accomplish our goals with women. Um, there's a link to it in the description down below. Ask to join, answer the survey questions, and I'll approve you. Okay, cool. So we've done, we've done four things, I think. We've cleaned our room, made our bed, we're moving around, working out, get our energy going. Um, and then the last thing is we're putting on some comedy, conversational comedy, whatever it is. Okay. The last thing is you want to pick out your outfit while you, while the comedy is playing, pick out your outfit while your blood, after your blood's pumping, pick out your outfit. And then when you look in the mirror, like you should feel good about yourself. You know, you should feel like, damn, man, this is, I look fly today. If you don't think you look good, then women aren't going to think you look good, dude. It's like, it's almost like women are looking to see if you're confident. And if you leave the house feeling good, feeling like you're, you appreciate yourself, then chances are women are going to appreciate you too. So that's the final thing. The fourth thing is make sure you get your outfit together, an outfit that you like. And if you have, if you don't have any good outfits, dude, go shopping, go out and get some that you like. Okay. <laughs> All right. So those are the four things. And then after this super important, once you have high energy, when you leave your place, you, you should maintain it. If you go out and you just sit at the bar for hours and you don't talk to anyone, you just killed your energy and you won't get into that flow state. What you need to do is start talking to people as quickly as possible. I like to get an Uber pool or like a lift line or something where I know there's going to be somebody else in the car or at least a driver and I can talk to the driver. I can talk to the passenger, keep myself in that social mode. So by the time I enter the bar, by the time I enter the venue, that's good. I'm already feeling good. I'm already ready to enter that flow state and talk to random people and do what I got to do to have a fun night. So hopefully this helps you guys. If you may tend to consider subscribing, um, I come up with videos like this every single week. If you're interested in my weekly one-on-one -on -one coaching program, which is what I put the most effort into and which, what is going to get you you the results that you want the fastest and most effectively and um, fill out the form below. It's in the description. If you seem like a good fit to work with me one-on-one, -on -one, we'll hit you back with an email. Thanks a lot, you guys. Good luck out there.